Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, representing Bendigo Fight Centre and trained by Lucas Allen. He stands in at 175 centimetres tall and is a striker. Fighting out of Bendigo, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Riley Paytow. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, representing Absolute MMA and trained by Simon Carson, standing in at 170 centimetres tall. He is a judoka, fighting out of Wodonga. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Harry Roos. Harry. Okay, gentlemen, we've been through the rules. You need to protect yourselves at all time and obey my commands at all time. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch gloves if you want. Back to your corner. You're flying now. Judge, judge, judge. Time. Are you ready? Are you ready? Fight. Round one. Height and reach apparent right away, Frank. Well, it's only five centimetres, but it looks more than that to me. Paytow landing that inside leg kicks immediately goes for the clinch. Look at the deep thing. Harry just picked him up off the ground. Did you see that? Ow. He just ran him across the ring. Wow. Okay, he's in top half here. Sammy might look to pass or may not. May not look at trying to ground and pound a little. Yeah, top half is where the boys like to be. I don't think he'll rush the pass. I think he'll just float on top and start looking to hit here. Simon's really big on staying in top half. Paytow, I'm going to check out what his defense is right now. Not so good. He gets mounted immediately. The biggest trick in the book, he fell for it. Length Soon can be awkward here. Length can be awkward if you've got yeah. a real long guy underneath you in full mount and he's got to the fence. Let's see if he uses Yeah, it. but look at Ruse, what he's doing. He's got that forearm across the neck. He knows what he's looking at. He brings him all the way to the middle of the cage. Man, has this kid got experience or what? Really switched on, Frank. And he really is. Very cerebral. And look, Harry, Harry's mentioned that he takes a lot of confidence because of his sparring partners and because of his training partners. Yeah, absolutely. Way. He gets access to a lot of higher guys. Just little things go. like that. Yeah, well, just following him to the back. He's got one hook. He's going to let the punch, open him up, mounts him again. He could do this all night. Sammy. You know, yeah. Paytow's got to have a better defense. He has to try and, you know, work his way into some kind of guard position and, and hide his head and get an underhook or something right now. He's not taking a lot of shots clean, though. He, he's, like, doing just enough to, to let Greg keep things going. Look at though. that high mount right yeah, there. Yeah, this so, is what I was talking about. Experience, so he's starting yeah. to bring the legs up. Yeah, Harry, Harry's been here quite a few times. Is he ranked in jiu-jitsu? Just off the top of your head? Not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, he's looking like he's, 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 he's definitely got his act together here. Riley's arms are at stake here. I mean, I don't know whether um, Harry is really aware of it. He might be setting up. Oh, Lou, there's a, that's wrapped up. That's a wrap. He's got it. That's deep. It's a wrap. That's a wrap. He might go out. He ain't getting out of this. He doesn't want to tap. Oh, he's going out. That's he's it. He's, he's out. out. Oh. He's out. Wow. <laughs> These young boys fighting to the death. Bro. Dude, hey, hey, you know, they don't have to. They can tap. But anyway, listen, much respect. Ladies and gentlemen, via Rene Kachok, 1 minute 51 in round one from the blue corner. Your winner, Harry Cruz.